In a MySQL or MariaDB database, auto-increment columns are used to automatically generate a unique integer value when a new record is inserted. This is most commonly used for primary key ID columns. For example, here in phpMyAdmin we have an empty database. Let's create a new table with a couple of columns. The first one being an ID column, that's an integer, and we'll set that to be an auto increment field and also make it the primary key. The second column will be a column called name, that's just a simple string. Let's save that to create the table. When we insert a new record into this table, if we don't specify a value for the auto increment column, the database automatically creates a unique value. By default, this starts at 1. And you can see that's the value that's been assigned to the ID column of the record I just inserted. If I insert another record, again without specifying a value for the ID, then this record has an ID of 2, and so on. So the first record in a table like this would always have the ID of 1, the second 2, and so on, right? Not necessarily. Let's see what happens when we delete all the records in this table. Now let's add another record. Again, not specifying a value for the ID. The table is empty, so this record can have the ID of 1. Except, it doesn't. The new record was assigned the value of 3 for the auto increment column. Why is this? The database server maintains an internal counter that contains the next value to be used when a record is inserted with an auto increment column. What we just did after creating this table was insert two records, which were assigned IDs of 1 and 2, then we deleted those, but the counter wasn't reset. So the next record inserted is assigned the value of 3. It works like this for a couple of reasons. One is to maintain referential integrity. If you have a foreign key to this column from another table, reusing an ID from a deleted record in this table could mean that a foreign key pointed to the wrong record. The other is for speed. It's faster to insert a new record using the next value from the counter than to scan the entire table looking for the next available value. There are a couple of ways to reset the counter, first by truncating the table. This removes all the records and also resets the auto increment counter back to 1. So now if we insert a new record, again leaving the ID column blank, it's assigned a value of 1. You can also reset the counter or change it to any value you like, as long as a record with that ID doesn't already exist, using this SQL. So for example, let's change it to 100. Now when we insert a new record, its ID is assigned the value of 100. To find the first record in a table using the ID, you might use SQL like this. However, this will only find the record with an ID of 1, which in this case doesn't exist because I deleted it. Instead, you can use SQL like this, which adds a limit clause to select one record 
and also an order by clause as otherwise the order isn't guaranteed. So don't assume that the first record in a table with an auto increment ID column has an ID of 1. If records have been deleted or the auto increment counter has been changed to something else, it might not do.